Hello, I'm Shane O'Mara, a system applications engineer in the Connected Motion and Robotics Group. In this video, I'm going to discuss our 3D time of flight technology and how it can impact Industry 4.0 and robotics. Time of flight measures depth by illuminating a scene with a modulated light source, such as a laser, and a sensor to detect the reflected light from a target. The sensor measures the time delay between the light emitted and the received light. As the time delay is proportional to twice the distance between the camera and an object, you can calculate the depth to a target. There are two common sensing types, pulse-based CCD sensors and continuous wave CMOS sensors. This demonstration will focus on CCD sensors, but ADI is complementing its existing CCD pulse-based portfolio with a new and exciting lineup of CMOS continuous wave products through a partnership with Microsoft. Time of flight can play a pivotal role in several markets, consumer, healthcare, automotive, security, and surveillance. And in industry 4.0, where depth sensors are used for volumetric detection, asset management, and in robotics, for navigation of autonomous robots, and it will move into safety sensing applications, such as collision avoidance. ADI offers industry-leading products and solutions to directly enhance the capabilities of 3D time of flight systems. AFE and depth compute processors such as the ADDI9036, the ADP3634 laser driver and complementary management solutions. Development boards and software and firmware to aid in quick implementation of 3D time of flight solutions and complete modules from design service partners are all available. The AD96 TOF evaluation board is a rapid prototyping platform that supports a wide range of operating systems and programming languages. The analog front end mezzanine board contains the receiving optic lens, Panasonic time of flight CCD sensor, and analog devices 3D compute processor. The laser board contains the lasers, laser drivers, and control circuitry to illuminate a target scene. The platform interfaces with a multitude of 96 boards, such as the Dragon Board 410, Raspberry Pis, and NVIDIA Jetson Nanos. The high resolution 640 by 480 depth image can be seen here on the screen. Walking through some of the features of one of the camera modules, a DCAM 710 from vSense in this instance, you have user selectable depth ranges from 350 millimeters to 6.2 meters and a multitude of image output types, IR, depth, RGB, and here you can see a point cloud overlaid with the RGB data. The high resolution, highly accurate depth perception data can transform robots that are essentially blind systems into the smart dynamic workhorses of the future. They can be used for a variety of applications in this example, a bin picking application, where the time of flight camera monitors the objects for the robot to pick. It can also be used in volumetric detection and box dimensioning. In this example, we have three DCAM 710 cameras mounted to the front of this robot. They interface into an Intel NUC, which is running the ROS operating system. ADI has developed ROS nodes to interface the cameras to the Intel NUC and to interface into the robot controller. So the setup is a typical palletizing function and what we have done is replicated a safety bubble application. So as one enters and leaves the scene, the robot moves and takes control. As an object re-enters the scene, the robot will stop to protect injury to any workers. This type of function is commonly done with 2D laser scanners today, but these systems have their limitations. Typically, the sensor is mounted closer to the ground, 300 millimeters, which means you have to extend your safety bubble as people can reach out a further 1.2 meters. So time of flight can optimize your factory floor space. Additionally, unlike time of flight, these laser scanners 
don't have the resolution to identify objects, just that any object has entered the scene. I hope this video gave you a good overview of analog devices 3D time of flight technology and how it can impact Industry 4.0 and robotics. For more information, please visit us at analog.com forward slash TOF. Thank you. Thank you.